Hey guys, Jason Stryker here at Cooperative Motorworks and Motorhome Rehab Ranch. Today I'm going to talk about this 1976 GMC Birchhaven 23 foot coach that you see behind me. So a lot of people have seen this in videos and pictures and stuff and have asked questions about it. So, you know, today I'm going to try to answer those. So this coach is ours. We own this coach and we are going to build this coach out the way we want to build a coach without really anyone influencing us, influencing us on how to build it. You know, no one saying, hey, we want to do this or that. This is going to be done the way we think that this particular coach should be built out. Now, you can see the big lifted tires and it's got a body lift on it. We're going to keep that set up. Uh, it does add a cool factor to it. And uh, we're gonna put that pretty blue engine that you've seen in some of our other videos inside this coach. So this is gonna have some really cool features that some of them we haven't done before. And we'll kind of update you as we go along on this. This coach will be for sale when we finish it. Um, and we may, to the right person, sell it along the way and build it out for them, but it's going to have to be done the way we want to do it. So now I'm going to take you on a little walk around. We're going to take a look at a few of the things that we're going to be doing with it, and I'll just, you know, let you guys know what our vision is for this. So come up to the front, you can see it's already been gutted up here. So we've taken almost everything out of it. Um, this is going to stay pretty much empty up here. There's not going to be very much uh, on the outside here. We're going to have the brake booster in the typical spot, and we're going to have the windshield wiper uh, motor. Um, so, you know, that stuff's going to be there. It'll obviously get a new uh, steering column and a new steering shaft. Uh, all the components of this are going to be uh, either completely refurbished or brand new parts. So when we're done with it, like the headlights, they're going to be LED headlights. Um, you know, we're, we're painted up nice, the uh, bezels and everything. Um, we probably will keep the paint job on this the same up until we finish it. We may eventually repaint it to some color that accents the, the pretty blue colors you've seen on some of the components. But it is a really nice paint job, actually. Um, this coach only has 50,000 miles on it. It's actually under 50,000 miles. And it was kept indoors for almost all of that. So, you know, it's, it's in pretty decent shape. We will be, uh, you know, doing pour 15 and stuff on the frame to keep it from rusting out, but it's a very good condition uh, frame. Uh, the engine we may end up going with a turbocharger on it. Uh, originally, it was going to be a supercharger, but the we want to use the CVF kit on it, and so far, they don't have a supercharger version of that for the Oldsmobile engine. Um, they do have it for some other ones, and if that comes out before we get to that point, we may end up putting a supercharger on it, but most likely, this thing's going to end up with a turbo. It's got the 410 uh, limited slip rear end in it, uh, you know, final drive, so I guess it's not really technically a rear end since it's going to be front wheel drive like all the other GMCs, but that's going to help with the uh, tire size, so we should still have all the power that you need and be able to drive down the road with these oversized tires. All right, so we're going to, um, well, I'll talk about the AC. So the air conditioning on this is probably going to be all on the other side of the firewall, which will keep this nice and clean here. Um, we've done that before and really liked how it turned out and you'll see on the dash how you know there's some options there uh, for making the the AC all on the inside of the coach um, but yeah it'll probably be about as empty in here as you can see it right now so it'll obviously have our new radiator uh, with electric fans so put these down real quick So before I go inside it, you can kind of see it's got the uh, quad bag system already on it and it'll all be fixed and, you know, prettied up. 
but it was all powder coated um, with the original setup. So, you know, be nice and pretty. All right, coming inside. Here's the uh, original speedometer, and you can see it's got 49,992 miles on it, so it's just under 50,000 miles. So I thought that was kind of neat. So you can see the dash has already been torn out of this. We're gonna build a custom dash that's completely original, nothing, you know, not, not the original to the GMCs, but our own design. So it's gonna get something that's totally different than what you've ever seen in one of these motorhomes before. Um, you know, we've we've done a little bit of that before and you know, we're excited to be able to build our own dash from scratch. So uh, whether it's gonna be fiberglass or some other material, I'm not 100% sure yet, but it will be a brand new uh, dash inside it. It'll also get a new steering column new steering wheel. Um, you can see the headliner is in pretty good shape. The rest of it, pretty much all the interior is likely to either uh, get completely replaced or we may, depending on how we want to build it out, we may end up uh, keeping like the bath pod and stuff and, and building it out with the same floor layout, but we're not quite 100% sure what we're going to do with that yet. Um, almost for sure the floor is going to all come out and we'll do our, you know, either Tusa board or some type of synthetic floor that we won't have to worry about it ever having uh, water damage. So that's something that we would like to end up doing on it. Um, but, you know, it's actually not too bad a floor in it. So, you know, once we tear out the carpet, we'll assess that and see what kind of shape it's in. So... Yeah, that's pretty much it with this thing. So, you know, let us know in the comments uh, what you think about this project. And if you're interested in it, you know, definitely uh, let us know. And there may be a possibility of uh, getting a first bid on it. All right.